You know, I don't think England are as good as everyone says they are. You know, they've not performed to the standards that we expected them to do so. Australia are getting slightly better. I think that's led by the coach a little bit, Darren Lehman, big Darren Lehman fan. He's almost taking it back to basics. You know, he's an old, old fashioned type cricketer, old fashioned type coach where, you know, I think he's winning over a few fans. You know, the way in which he's going about his business. Um, so, for the good of cricket, I'd like to see Australia win a test match. You know, I think it's one for the old school um, where Darren's doing a good job. Well, it's laughable, isn't it? Um, everyone's having a go at Alistair Cook. You look at his record as captain, he's 3 0 up in an Ashes series. I think this is his third series of the year that he's, he's going to end up winning, and people are having a go. And the people are having a go, some haven't been captains, some have been captains and not won out, some have been bad captains, and they're having a go at Alistair Cook. I, I find it amazing. The one, the one thing with Alistair is he's got a style of his, he's got a style. You know, if you're a batter, you're either defensive, attacking, maverick, calculated, whatever it may be. And Alistair is probably on the defensive side of the captaincy. But he's churning out the results. And I find it amazing when they sit up there and they're commentating and they're saying, I would have done this, I would have done that, he should do this, he should do that. Well, that's all well and good, but he didn't win all. Where Alistair Cook is winning test matches and winning Ashes series. I'm giving those a chance, yeah. I think, I think England will edge it again. However, I would actually, for the good of the winter, and Darren Lehman, I'd like to see the Aussies win one. I think Darren, he's good for the game. He's bringing it back. He's bringing that charm of cricket back. You know, it's kind of a bit too reserved and the players are a bit more guarded. And it's almost that Darren Lehman's coach, he's throwing it out the window. His players speak openly in press conferences. Darren has a laugh with the cameras. He's accessible everywhere he goes. All the grounds are raving about the Australians, how good they are. So. For the good of that, I'd like to see Australia win. Whether they can, I'm not sure. But England favourites, Aussie's got a chance. And when Ian Bell scores runs, he's good to watch. He makes it look so easy. And we're going to the old ball next, which is a batter's dream. If you can bat and you time the ball well, you get value for shots. And Ian Bell, 300 so far in the series. And I wouldn't back against the fourth. You know, he looks so good when he goes to the wicket. You talk about batsmen, he has so much time. Um, so, yeah, Bell, I expect him to score more runs. Um, but I think the other one, everyone's waiting for Trot. You know, he's, he's playing all right. He's playing a different style. He's a bit more aggressive than he used to be. Whether he'll rein himself in a little bit and try and get that big score. But Trot looks in decent form. I'm not sure the, the pitch at the Oval will be suiting Jimmy that much, or the seamers. It's usually a nice place to bat. I'm sure Stuart will be confident going into it. He's taking wickets in this last one. Um, however, the pitch at the over as the game goes spins. It'll probably bounce as well, which for a spinner, spins one thing, but if you get it with bounce, then it's far more effective. So I'd expect one to come into the game. Um, Bresden will just do his job. Bresden will chip in with the odd wicket here and there um, and ball his overs, but I'd expect one to be a leading wicket taker. We'll possibly broad not too far behind. Yeah, one will look good. Um, you know, he seems to put the troubles behind him in the walkabout bar in Birmingham. Um, and he seems to focus his energy on hitting the ball rather than people. And in the last test, he looked like he was getting to some sort of form. I think the wicket at the over will suit him. You know, he's grown up on fast pitches and likes to play off the back foot square of the wicket. And the over will be like that for him. So I wouldn't back against Warner scoring runs. Watson looked decent coming in at number six. You know, it's a change of role for him. However, I think he's more suited to that than the new ball moving around a little bit. So Watson looks good, threatening to score. Clark, he just looks a bit caught at the minute. I don't think he looks, whether he has to attack or defend, get his head down and play his shots. And I think the weight of captaincy is starting to take its toll as well. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for Clark in this one. You know, I look at Warner and possibly the other opening batsman, Rogers, scored runs in the last one. Accomplished player, a little bit older, a bit more experienced, and knows his game. Yeah, he's, he's a throwback, isn't he, Harris? If you said draw me an Aussie, you'd probably draw him, wouldn't you? But maybe stick a tash on him. Um, but he's like, he's like the Merv Hughes type bowler, isn't he? He just runs in all day, bowls quick, bowls his overs. Um, I won't back against him, you know, taking wickets. You know, Lions, the off-spin in the last test got a few. But I think that was more England's approach. They treated him with no respect whatsoever. It's almost as if they were saying, you're rubbish, you can't bowl, you're not bowling at us. 
And if you take that attitude, then you will get found out in cricket. And a few of the England batsmen got found out, but I couldn't, I can't look past Harris. You know, he took seven in the second innings in the last test. He's almost carrying the attack on his own. He bowls his overs um, and he's decent as well. Download the app or visit centerbit.com and sign up now.